What's going on guys? Thank you for joining me again. We have another unboxing and review video for you today. This is actually really cool. It's new technology. It's a security camera, but it is a solar. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. Solar wire-free camera. And the reason why this technology is game changing, it's only going to improve. We're going to take it through the loops. Don't worry about that one. But as this technology improves, you're going to have high definition cameras. This is 1080p, by the way, with night vision, motion activation, etc. But what's awesome is that you can plant these so you don't have to have an electrician come in, wire up your camera, get an electrical socket so you can plug it in some who knows where, running cords through your front door, back garage, etc. is very, very simple. This particular camera is weatherproof. We're going to go through all the specs. Don't worry about that. It is weatherproof IP66. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it out of the box, see what we get, and then we're going to put it through all the loops. All right, first up, here is the company name right there. I'm going to botch that name if I try to pronounce it, but it will be linked in the description box below the video. You guys in the UK, if they sell it in the UK, I will have you linked as well. For the US, you guys are top link. Again, if they sell it in the UK, look in the description box below. Let's get that bad boy out of the way. And here we go. Looks like a uh, Death Star Falcon from Star Wars. Very nice, little protective plastic there. Let's get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and look at this bad boy a little bit closer. And then of course, we'll get to all the boring stuff. Screws, hardware, etc. We have of course our 1080p camera here. This looks to be a microphone right up there. Now I do have a QR code right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cover up just in case for security reasons so no one hacks my security camera. But there is a QR code. We'll probably have to link it up to the app. We have a little tripod screw right here which comes in for your mounting hardware. We have what seems to be a button right here. And then a little flap which is is USB and your memory card right here. And not to mention, it looks like maybe a reset button of some sort right there as well. So you can either use this course over the cloud via the app, or you can record with a micro USB card. And we look like we have a speaker right here for two-way audio. And coming a look at the back here and our nice solar panels right on top. All right, we have our mounting hardware here which of course gets screwed into whatever wall of your choice. And then we have our little adapter here, tighten that on. And of course you can loosen that and it'll go upwards, up or down at 90 degree angle. And then go ahead and tighten that up right there. And that's guesstimation. My guess is probably four inches or so ballpark. And then we have a sticker here protected by audio video surveillance. We have our little screwdriver here. That's kind of cool. And a couple other little things here. We got our user manual, little card here. We have another waterproof cover there for your camera if that breaks off for some reason. We got a reset pin tool, just like the iPhone. We have our screws and drywall hooks as well and a USB to micro USB cable. And according to the user manual, you will need to charge the camera for about five hours before the first use. And the only reason why is to fully charge up and the solar panels will then keep the camera charged. How to connect it is all within the manual here. So I'm gonna do that off camera. If I run into any issues, I will let you know. And another really awesome feature of this, see these little screws and that screwdriver that came with it? The screwdriver that's right there. You loosen this screw and there's another one on the opposite side right there. And this solar panel wing can actually slip right off if you wanted to have this just for indoor use and not for outside use. As we can see right here, just pries off, slips right out. So now your camera is nice and thin. This is your solar panel connection to the back of it right there. Looking great, nice and thin there. And there's the inside connection for your solar panel. Now what we're looking at here are the red infrared lights that do come on for night vision. As we can see, it just turned off because it's on automatic here. Now if it does get darker, now you can actually see those. So if someone's walking by the camera, obviously it looks a little bit different now right there. As we can see, it looks a lot different in person. In person, they're just tiny red dots. but 
as we saw the blue and green light over here by my thumb, right over here, that lit up for motion detection. Now, if your camera is shining down from your front door, wherever you have it, in the backyard, etc., as we can see here, motion detection is picking back up again and then night vision because it's dark in my house right now. Night vision will click off right there. But if you don't want that to click on blue and green every time someone walks by, if you want this more of a stealth camera, then just grab a little piece of electrical tape, again, making sure not to put it over the red one, but just put a little square right over that light. That way when porch pirates, people trying to steal your packages. So I actually have my camera outside on my patio right here. And as we can see here, right between our little uh, plants there, it's kind of angled a little bit and it actually doesn't get direct sun unless it's really right overhead. I already have a smart doorbell. So this actually goes right here and gets right down by my front door. Now it is a little bit of ways away from the actual sidewalk. And we'll show you some test footage in just a second. And the reason I have it up here is because I already do have a smart doorbell, but unfortunately due to the position of the doorbell, it's off a little bit. So this camera gives a nice bird's eye view from the second story balcony. And even though it is pulled away, I actually do get some pretty decent audio being able to hear people if they're having a conversation below or somebody walking by. I had a realtor the other day showing the house down the street and I was able actually to pick up their conversation from easily 30 to 40 feet below on the sidewalk. So let's go ahead and show you some test footage here of nighttime and daytime. <laughs> All right, so we're inside the app here, and let me go ahead and show you a few key features here. So we hit this, and sometimes it takes, obviously, if your internet connection, mine's pretty quick there. So we're in 1080p, and it's actually a stellar live shot. Right now, you're seeing a live shot of this, and I'm sorry that I did not have the volume right down here. You have to actually press that, and then if you want to speak, now you can actually hear, but if you want to speak... You would push down that button and it would highlight blue. Obviously, I don't want my neighbors to be like, hey, what in the world's going on? So let me go ahead and just click off of that just in case. <laughs> anyway, so sorry about the uh, no volume there during the lawnmower shot, etc. But anyway, a very crisp, very good image. And sure, I could actually rotate that a little bit more to the left, which I probably need to do, get my step stool out. But as you can see here, it has on the very top, it has a battery indicator there. That has never gone down below, I think like 85%. Now I'm only using this for cloud storage right now. You can go ahead and take pictures right off of here, as you can see there right next to the microphone volume. You can download your motion detection over here down to albums right there. You have cloud storage. Let's go ahead and click on cloud storage here. Actually has to come into a live shot first before we go to a cloud storage. There we go. So there is my cloud storage for the day. Now the only problem is, let me go ahead and show you this here. It fires up. Now when it does fire up like that, that's actually the night vision going to the proper uh, settings for daytime so it wouldn't turn on the night vision camera. It just does that. Now, unfortunately, it's only eight seconds, and majority of the time, like some other reviewers have said, because this is pulled back so much, I'm not getting the shot completely, unfortunately. Let me show you one where I was able to grab it. Let's come down here to my album. Now, here we see their top left corner. We see the Amazon delivery guy rolling up real slow, and because he's slow rolling it, that picked it up. Now, again, dog walkers and people that are actually on my sidewalk right in front of my porch, I'm not picking them up. So, unfortunately, motion detection isn't the best. If you're going to be using this for a camera, there's the shot again of him across the way. But for motion detection, because it might be just because of my location, not the best. So, keep that in mind if you're 
you're going to keep it nice and high. I haven't tried out an SD card. I've been going off of either live or the cloud feature myself. So when you get those surprise doorbell rings, I'm able to see exactly who it is. And you can actually zoom in like we see right here. And you kind of just wipe your finger around there so you can actually zoom in there a little bit. And then bring the, uh, the camera down. Let's go ahead and zoom in across the way. See how nice and tight we can get there. So we can see there, there's a package on my neighbor's porch right there. So that's really cool. If you wanted to keep an eye on your neighbor's house while they are on vacation, etc. And then right here, you would go live. Push that button in the middle there. Now let's go ahead and hit settings here. So settings right here, we have SD card or cloud storage. And if you have an SD card, then obviously you would put it to SD card. You need to format that SD card, I think, before you do fire it up for the first time. Now motion detection right here, we have high. It's on high. Again, I'm not picking up as much as I should, but you can go medium, low, or disable motion detection altogether. LED lamp, you can enable or disable right there. Power frequency, 50 or 60 hertz. Device name, password, etc. You can name your device. So a couple cool features there. And I do wanna show you one other feature here. So we'll go back to cloud storage here and you see this little top uh, calendar in the, your top right here. You go ahead and hit that and you start working your way back down the calendar month or whatever. And you're like, oh, okay, something happened on the ninth. And then boom, there's all your activity on the ninth. Then let's go ahead and go back to, uh, well, let's find out what happened on the seventh. Well, nothing on the seventh. Okay, so let's, what, what happened, any action on the eighth? Boom on the eighth right there. Well, so that's a pretty cool feature to be able to go back a little bit and check out, see if any action has transpired in your agenda. I'm not sure how long it's stored in there for. Well guys, overall a really sweet camera. As we can see here, that's kind of funny. Right as I'm ending it there, we see my neighbor cruise up on a live shot. That's pretty funny. Anyway, overall, a really cool camera. And I believe with app updates, the motion detection could get better if it is an app issue. If it's a hardware issue, Generation 2 is only going to get better. But for a security camera that's being able to have wire-free, put it anywhere, in any other location, we're looking real strong. If you guys want to read more reviews about it, see what other people are talking about, then look in the description description box below, you will find your link there. You guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next one. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.